because it's three to five players. The one up there? Yeah, the blind one. Yeah, I've never played it. Have you played it? No. Okay. Yeah, just, um, Laurel, Laurel and Caleb it. gave it to me for my um, birthday last year. I've yet to play it. But yeah, we could, uh, I don't know. <laughs> be interesting. But yeah, should be live. I'm looking at yeah. you, like, hanging you too. Is that supposed to be you? Hmm? Oh, your new little, like, mm -hmm. TV. Oh, so it's funny you say that. Um, it's not supposed to be me. He's a character from My Hair Academia, but I did cosplay him last year for Halloween. I was about to say, for some odd reason, it just looks like you, too. I think it might be the facial hair. Well, it's actually not facial hair. It's actually, he has, like, a, um, like, it's, it's like, dead skin on that sort of thing. He almost has, he almost has, like, a, um, like, a scarecrow kind of aesthetic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... It just looks like five o'clock shadow. <laughs> well, what do you think's under his eyes? Are there five o'clock shadows? Just shadow? like, just like bags, maybe. I don't uh, know. <laughs> five o'clock shadow under his eyes. Yeah, you see, you grow like beards out of your eyes. <laughs> oh god, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Let me. Um, I can show you my um costume. Oh, are we live, by the way? We are yeah. live. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> my pants are on, but you won't know that. <laughs> You're just doing the newscast or anything. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that would be fun if we do like news. If we ever get to where we have to do news, I just sit there and just box your shorts and a nice button. I, mean, I still want to do the um, the flex seal commercial thing. <laughs> Hi, Corey Quick here with Spell Slingers. Nice. That was oh, a good yeah. as I've that ever dude. seen that. Yeah. Yeah. I might do that again. Uh, this this coming up year, we'll see. What spell slingers you ask? Well, it's a combative card game. Uh, let's see. That reminds me, we're gonna. Here's for nineteen ninety five. No, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars each. Plus tax. But you know, when you say nineteen ninety five, you could actually like have in parentheses actually twenty dollars. <laughs> We'll set up our little people. Do we have any viewers yet, Zark? We got two. Hello! Thank you for joining us. Have you shared it in our little Discord and stuff? I'll take the... You shared it on Facebook, too, and tag me in it, so it shows up for my friends. Is that any color you want? I've got, like, purple. Alright. Purple. Actually, be patient with us. I'm going to share this on a Reddit. Uh, Vincent, what color you want? Green, pink, or red? Purple. Uh, well, this is an interesting, uh, interesting, co interesting thing we've got here. Yeah. Zach, what color do you want? Color, uh, purple's been taken. <laughs> pink, I guess. It's a shade of purple, so here we go. Are we playing with the uh, Demogorgon? Depends on what this uh, second expansion says. Because I know it adds some monsters, and I think it uh, allows the ability for you to like swap out. Yeah, we'll have to uh, figure this out, and we'll stumble as everyone's watching us. And we'll stumble. We also get these Venom tokens. Oh yeah, those are <laughs> those are interesting. Like I, I actually read up on it when I was at uh, Gen Con, and uh, yeah, they are, they're something. You get to know there's something. Like some of the mechanics are a little more complicated. Like Venom allows you to like, uh, I think it's either negative to the score or some kind of like control to it. Okay, so this says, "Welcome to your new decks of mortals and locations. To convert your original edition of Campy Creatures to the newest version." Remove all of your old mortal cards and replace them with this deck here. Be sure to read up on what's new in this updated rulebook and learn how to set up the new mortal deck, incorporate assistance, and conquer locations. Enjoy. So, if you can do me a favor, Corey, you can search through this entire mortal deck and remove every... Well, I, actually, I guess, I guess it would just be every single one of these cards. So, never mind. Every single one of these cards are replaced now. <laughs> They are replaced with 
this entire deck, I guess. Okay. Alright. Um, so I'm gonna put this, this replaced deck in the bag. So remove that from my site. And then that will put there. So how's everyone doing tonight? Ho hopefully pretty good. We just got back from Sonic, who is not a sponsor, but they should be. Let us know if you like Sonic. I'm curious. I used to not. I used to actually not like Sonic at all, but it's kind of grown on me lately. Okay. Everyone begins the round the same hand of creatures. Huh. Assistants are a special type of mortal always in the game. They should be they should not be considered when choosing which sets to play with. Huh. It seems like I'm struggling a little bit <laughs> to to understand. Okay. Um Something crazy always happens in the final act. These locations provide a way for a player to score big or for scoring to get flipped on its head. Um Okay, this is this is the quick start. So for three players, five cards each from two sets plus two assistants. So assistants are a new type of card. So um Okay, so luckily all the assistants are the same. So we have two assistants. And then four cards from one set. What do you think that means? Four it cards. means from either of these sets. Just but you Oh, from each probably uh, four cards from like each class, like the hunter and the uh Well there's a. Uh, There's not even four hunters in the deck, I don't think. There's two. Two <laughs> uh, cents. Does anyone say anything? Okay. We got some people out. Howdy, howdy. Hey, welcome. Hello. We're we're working on playing Campy Creatures, which if you've seen our streams before, you might know that we played this before. I don't. Uh, Zach has not played it before. <laughs> but we but we're playing the second edition, which I I've never played, so there's some new rules that we're trying to uh, oh, check learn. the top right and see if there's a little icon. Yeah, all of them have different icons, like some have but it seems like the icons are dependent on what kind of mortal they are. It doesn't seem like... Uh, the color of an icon may be different, but as long as their shape matches, they should be considered as part of that set. Okay, so only... So we'd only get to keep four of these, like, of the set? Yes. Okay. So, five cards from two sets. And there's Teenagers, Classics, and Engineers. Okay, so only... four cards from Teenagers? Uh, five cards from two sets. So five cards from teenagers, five cards from classics, or five cards from engineer, but only two of those. Oh, so what? So how many of these do I get rid of? I keep uh, all that. Okay. So <laughs> see the icons. They have these three. So you would do like five and five, but you wouldn't do any of those. So that would be a set, a set, and a set. And it's five cards from two sets. Okay, and that's how many I keep. Yes. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, and then the rest of them stay the same. Yes. Okay. To create the mortal deck, first step aside all the base mortals, the ones with the little crossbow thing, and then do five cards of the special mortals from two different sets. Okay, so now I have to set these up? The crossbow? Uh, yes. So you would have all of those, and then you would have basically ten cards with the special logo. What's the special logo? Like the uh, sneaker, the club, and the goggles. And set those out separately? 
E I Yes. Okay, like okay. that. So yeah, those would go in with that because that's yeah. five cards from two sets. Yeah. Place your shuffled mortal deck face down next to the board. Okay. Yeah. See, that's you shuffle in five random teenagers, five random engineers, and two assistants for the base mortals. So yeah, that is right. Okay. Uh, location and assistant setup. Shuffle the final act locations and deal one face down on top of the location slot on the board. Uh, now deal a number of assistant mortals face down on top. Uh, two, two to three, three to four to five. Uh, shuffle normal locations and deal one face down on top. Then deal the same number of assistants on top of it. Finally, deal a location card face up on top. So what do I do with these locations? Okay, so um, we're s uh, shuffle the final act locations and deal one face down. There's only one that says the final act. Oh no, there's multiples. Okay, so okay, so I put this one face down, final act. I guess um, that goes on the bottom. Yeah, just grab the um, other two, I guess as well. And get rid of them. Yeah. Uh, just so. And then where are these locations go that aren't the final act? Um, on the location slot on the board. Is there a location slot? Nope. I think you might need to separate it from the mortal sim. Okay, just like set right there because you're gonna have to put uh assist you're gonna have to put assistance on top of it. Cause uh, now it says um, deal one face down on top of the location board. Now deal a number of assistant mortals face down on top. Two for two to three players. So uh, I think I may have shuffled them in here, maybe. Nope, did not. Okay. I probably have them over here then. Okay. Uh, so basically you would put two on top of the final location, and then you would put another location on top of those. Alright, we did what, what? Sorry. Okay. We put two on top of that. Boom. Now, random location on top of those. Okay. And then uh, two more assistants. I'm not so far sold on the second edition. <laughs> it's a little more complicated of a setup, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. I don't even know. Uh, okay. Okay, and then a final location face up. All right, Metropolis. All right. Uh, this will be the location for the first round. Um, place all unused creature decks, clash markers, eye tokens, mortals, and locations back in the box. You're ready to start. We already know the creature card basics. We already know the mortal card details. I don't. Okay, you see the numbers? Yes. Pick one that's higher. If it has an effect, the effect takes place before the number. You learn. You learn that part very quickly. Okay. Uh, location icons of mortals. Location icons appear in the top left on some mortals, no matter their color. One icon counts as one, two icons count as two. Players who collect the most at the end of a round will conquer the location and earn its reward. So as we collect teenagers or so on and so forth, if they have the location marker on it somewhere, then uh, you collect the reward for that location. All right. What did you do with my uh, monster cards? Uh, they should be... Over on your side. Oh, are they these ones? No, they're not. I checked. Because I'm supposed to have purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had three sorted out, unless they accidentally got. Oh, he took purple. No. You gave him purple. Oh, I just picked a random. Oh, uh, yeah, no, they all match colors on the back. Oh, alright. Uh, yeah, I totally did not check that. I just. You just sorted through the right. Yeah. Yeah. Th yes. This actually makes it easier though, which is nice. Yeah, it really does. I just thought it was like different sets of the. Uh... Yeah. So for all the monsters that you play in the game, it's all color coded, and each color thankfully has a different symbol. So even if you're colorblind like myself, you can still sort this out. 
Uh, do we want to add any of the new creatures? Mm. Talking about the creatures from this expansion, like the plant? Yes. Well, what makes it difficult is there's new mortals and locations that I don't know how they would... We'd probably have to factor them in from the beginning. So how about we'll throw the new creatures in next time? We'll start with these new mechanics, and then we'll try to throw them in next time. Okay. Perfect. Because it's got the details for those. Uh, so round one... Um, yeah. Oi. I'm assuming we get the... I'm not sure how the rounds work, honestly. Uh, the rounds are probably the same. So this is you, this is me, and then what color are you, pink? Where's this, where's this pink one? Right there. Okay, cool. Okay, so a full rotation. The, the per, yeah, right? the person who... When's the last time you watched a horror movie? Mm -hmm. Forever. I watched one this last weekend. Okay, so you're going first. Yeah. So I go up top... And then who's seen one probably between you guys most recently? Probably me. Okay, so... Have you a TV show, like Stranger Things? Yeah, sure. I don't watch. Okay, so this is the order. Um, and basically what we do is we reveal one mortal per player. The objective, Zach, is we're all, um, we're all monsters trying to capture humans, and whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. So, for example... We have the damsel, who's worth the most at six points. We have the cosmonaut, who's worth four, and another cosmonaut worth four. This is actually a very, I mean, Corey can tell you, this is one of the most point-filled uh, <laughs> things that, that yeah. you can get. This is going to be a very interesting, like, double-blind situation. Yeah. Um, now, with this, is this currently set up well from the top-down view for, the, for our audience here? I would move this up down just a tad bit, but yes. So wait, should I have not shuffled my cards? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. So each card has a different effect. Uh, what you're trying to do is either get the highest number to capture monsters first, or you're trying to counter um, everyone else's uh, monster in choice. Ah. So it's a lot of like double guessing. So for example, Corey, Corey and I will give you an example. Just pick a random card. Um, so if if he had if he puts this face down, I put this face down. We both flip it over. Um, he has an 8. I have a 0, but this one says I can discard a card from my hand to make it the same strength. So I can discard the 8. If we tie in power, whoever's the highest up on here uh, gets to go first. Since I'm higher up than him, then I can choose the damsel, get the 6 points. And then say if you had the 7, then you're going to go last. So he's going to take a 4, and then you take a 4. Um, alternatively, um, if he had played the 8, I could have played the uh, mummy. Yeah, the mummy, it says, it, it says I get to capture immediately if Kaiju's in play. So since Kaiju's in play, and I have the mummy, even though he has a higher power, I get to automatically take it. Mm -hmm. However, if he knows I might play the mummy, then he might play the seven. Because the seven doesn't have that drawback. So if I play the mummy thinking he's going to play Kaiju, and he plays the seven, then he gets to go before me. However, if he keeps the seven, at the end of the game, it says you get three points scored extra on your points if, if he's in your hand at the end of the game. So you want to try to hold him off if you can, or you can use him for a big play like this. Yeah, so it's a lot of interplay and guessing. And yes, it's, and it's very hard to choose what to do. But um, I have an idea of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this down. We all put a card face down, and then we'll reveal monsters and see what's up. By the, by the way, this has become one of our favorite games, I think, um, to play that's not Vindicated. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to discard. So how do we know what has a symbol? It'd be up here. Yes. Like, like so. What? It, so to get this effect, you have to capture a mortal with this with this like Japanese symbol up here. In the I'm corner. not sure if it's a Japanese symbol or if it's just the uh, the color. Oh, because I was about to say, because there's not... Um, Let me see. Well, I don't think there is a mortal with yeah, that color. See, I think it's just either, like, color or, like, where it's a hand or the... Uh, I honestly don't know. Okay, because... I, uh, I am mystified on that. We studied the rules, people. Oh, yeah. Maybe uh, look at it a little bit more. Hmm. What are they saying? Nothing, but I'm going to ask him a question. Yeah, you. Players should total up the house on their captured mortals. Player with the... 
most house concrete location, taking the card and its room. Ties are broken with the clash of either. So, best guess is going to be uh, since it has the little house on it, it counts towards earning that. Oh, uh, if it has the house on it? So, yeah, these, so these don't count as that, but if it location has location icons appear in the top left on some mortals. Got you, so if you capture that, you get to fulfill it. Okay, okay, yeah, that no matter, no matter their color, one icon counts as one, two icons count as two. The player who collects the most of those at the end of the round will conquer the location. Gotcha. Alright, I'm going, I'm going to drop the eight, so I'll capture the damsel. So now, you go next. What about this, though, defects? Uh, okay. I have to discard. Yeah. I'm going to discard the block. So I get this little stick thing. Well, you just get the, the points okay. over there. And then uh, the monster's discarded on your side. Alright, and then we can use this little point marker. So I go up to six points. Uh, could you do yours in a stack so I can just keep track? Here, uh, oh, yeah, sure. The monsters? Yeah. Okay. Because this is handy, so you can kind of keep track um, of like what people are So playing. you're at four points, and then where's your little marker guy? Oh, he's in here. Are you green? Uh, he's I know you're purple. purple. That was pink. No, I'm purple. Pink. Was pink you're purple. What color are you? I'm color I'm, I'm blue. Asking for your color. Okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. right here. Okay. Oh, that's you? Yes. Okay. Color black. Fuck. Okay. Doesn't like bright when we get the guy that doesn't like. Okay, now it's next round. So, and, and after every round, the initiative goes down, so now I'm going to be last to win if we have a tie. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a hefty, hefty, uh, hefty, hefty, hefty. Rampy, <laughs> rampy, rampy. Go ahead and place your bets now. Do you think... Who do you think will win? <laughs> okay, ready to flip? Got a mummy. Darn it. I failed. <laughs> I'm gonna take the damsel. Well, Alright, and, she, and she negates the ability of the person to her left. So Fuck her! So you only get one. <laughs> so I go up by two. You go up by six. I thought we totaled them at the end. Just in case we got negatives. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and... Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know. I think you can do it either way. Yeah. No, no, because we, ha we had them going around the whole time. Did we? No, yeah. we usually just did it at the end. No, 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 because remember, because it was like, uh, there would be times where I'd be like so far ahead, it's like, oh my gosh, and then people catch up to me and stuff. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah you're right. Um. So you're at how much? Ten. Ten. Ten, six. Uh, I'm at eight, and you're at... Six. Six. Okay, so we're all relatively in the same area. So six, six, six. no one's captured a. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you captured the home. No, you didn't. I captured the home. No, nope, I did. I did too. So me and you were tied. Well, you captured it first. It's the one that has the most at the end of the round. Well, we just. Well, no, we messed up because every time you capture the home with this location. If you if you do this, you rise to the top of the classroom meter and you score two points. Is what that says. So you and you got this last round, didn't you? This cosmonaut. Uh. Yeah, at the end of the round. Yeah, but that would have been last round. We we basically just took a whole round without you having that little bit. Okay, so is then. What say. Yeah, I think. So you, so you should be up an extra two points, and then we should be moved on from this location, right? Right. Okay. So then, what's the assistant do? Uh, assistants are a special mortal denoted by their black and white appearance. They score at the end of every round, and this is the only mortal type the players will keep from round to round. The more you capture, the more powerful they grow. Okay, okay, so the round hasn't ended yet. The round only ends when we complete all of these, I think. I think. No, because then we'd have to do like eight <laughs> eight versions of this game to get to get to, <laughs> to yeah. get to the very bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I guess it's like engineers where it stacks. But we don't know who gets these, right? Uh. 
Right. I mean, I guess I could throw them in for this next round. Like, put two in and then put the third mortal in, like that. Uh, third, okay. But it does say keep after each round, so maybe it does mean that you're supposed to hold on to it throughout the game. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we'll we'll play it like that, I guess. And we'll... Okay, so do you want to do it this way, where we have the two of the assistants put in, and then we'll put a third mortal in for, for this next round? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Okay, and now we're on Camp Markwood. Uh, it says you get to capture an additional two teenagers if you score. Typically, put teenagers in this deck. Yes, there are. Okay. Archaeologists. So if you pull the archaeologist, then you won't get this benefit, um, even though she has the home there. And we're really have to play in this race. I feel I feel like we're missing at least something, but. I definitely feel like I've missed something here, but. Oh, and if the assistants go out there, out of the game permanently. Yeah, but if you capture them, they, they stay on your side permanently. Yeah. Okay. I know this won't have a lot of minuses, though. Discard a card, I have to discard a card. And you get first capture. So what's the assistance good for? Uh, they're good for stacking. So if you have one, you get one point. If you get two, you get three points. If you have three, you get six. So the more you can capture, the better off you are. Okay. Um, then I have next, so I will get an assistant. Okay, because you're higher up on the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And this goes away, I, I believe. Round completed? I thought the round was a full rotation of the three of us. We just all went. Oh. I didn't know if it was the full. Yeah, well now it now um now since he he just had his time to kind of to that. Okay. Yeah. And now I guess it Oh, I think I see what happened. You probably shouldn't flip that until after we play the round with the assistants, and then this would trigger with the next three full mortals. Because you're triggering two events at the same time. Like, the assistants are, like, interlude events. Okay, so... So, because we just... Okay, so we just captured... The, okay, sure, so we'll... So, it's Merkwood now, I think. Well, with, uh... Okay, sure. Um... Okay, sure. Yeah. We are definitely trying to uh, get this as It's way more confusing. Okay, so... Um, so we, we finally have a negative in here. So if someone gets the negative, then they'll get minus one point. Is it me? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was yours. Um, all right. So we're still on Camp Markwood, I guess. Well, I don't know, because you didn't you get that? This has two homes on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it has two houses. Oh, because it counts for two points, so me and him would be tied. Oh, for who gets this effect? Mm -hmm. So neither of us would get the effect and it would move on, I think, since it's a tie. Okay. So now the assistants come out? Yes. 
And then we'll get one mortal again. Three teenagers. So how these teenagers work, Zach, is at the end of the round, whoever has the most teenagers scores seven points. Whoever has the second most gets four. Mm. He already has three. Um, and so if we tie, we would get seven points apiece. Yeah, true. Um... Up to three points on your side. Okay, so location, the final act, the Uncharted Island. Score for your highest strength creature left in hand. Wait, what? Okay, so at the end of this round, I assume, we get an amount of points. Uh, well, not. Yeah. We get points based on the, the, um, the power of the creature. So if the creature has zero to three, we get three points. If it's four to seven, we get four. If it's eight, we get uh, five. And oh, let's roll out those final three mortals. Two, teen two teenagers, one teenager, one teenager. So, teenager scared the living out of me. Well, this is not a good, um, I don't think this is a good setup for me. Um, <laughs> You guys both have three teenagers, right? Uh, or no, you have I six, six and then he has none. Okay, that changes up. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's look. Wonderful set of coconuts. Okay, I have the most, so I'm getting the two teenagers. And that gets nada. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, did I play that wrong? No, you played. Uh, if you're so, been so let me let me score my points. So been off of this, okay, no. I get three points. No, you can go to that. I was gonna say because I have this still. Yes, you would have been uh, better playing that because you would have technically gotten four points versus three, but you actually earned more points because of the final location off of that. Because you actually earned five. Yes. So I have the second most teenagers, right? So I'm going by four. You earned just as many points as I did off of having all the teenagers. Are you moving yours? And then I get three points for. I, I'm assuming this just counts as three points total, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. And. Okay. Do that for you. Oh, my bad. You're fine. <laughs> okay. So that's where I'm at. So I just went ahead and researched since we hadn't been keeping up with it. So that's where I ended up. Okay. And so. Ladies uh, first. Smooth. All right, so I earned seven, 13, 19, 21 from the location because I got the two points, right? Yeah. Yeah. You literally end up one point ahead. Oh wait, of me. Uh, and then actually, what's the highest point creature? Uh, three more points for me. Yeah, because I have a three. So I got four. That accidentally moves Zach's up. Six, eight, seven. That's 11. What's 11? If four, oh, six, yeah, eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven. And three plus whatever this card, because I kept, I still had this in my hand. It gives you uh, four points for him. Oh, well, three for him having that effect, and then. Four for this effect. So you get seven. seven off of him. So I got 18. 18 points total? Yeah. Okay. So that's where the uh, final final game laid out. Um, so uh, is that what you think of the game? Is your first time playing? This is, this. Uh, me and Corey will talk about what we think of the expansion. It's or the interesting. Okay. I feel like it should have gone on longer, though. I feel like the original version does. Yeah, I feel I like know. I feel like with the new rules, we may have messed a thing or two up here 
are there, but um, yeah, because usually we get our points like around closer to this area too. Yeah, like I'm not sure if it was supposed to be one assistant at a time or not, but or if the rounds were supposed to take longer or I don't know. I feel like we'll have to do more research <laughs> or something yeah. before. I, I feel like Dad, Dad, we I feel like me and you have the shared bafflement of trying to work through these. Uh, I, I, I honestly, I, I mean, I considered looking at this before, but. I'm gonna say I thought it'd be simple enough because the other they when we opened up the first edition it was so easy to pick up that like we had no issues with it. Yeah, I'm going to say the first one is if you're getting it is way better of a investment unless you've got the extra time to try to learn the convoluted ass rules for the second edition. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, the uh, the first edition I believe is sold out everywhere, and you can't you have to buy the second edition for you to get it. Then I am sorry for you missing out on the opportunity to play a fantastic and addicting game. Okay, we're going to go to the first edition real quick. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I want to put up these uh, Cause, second uh, edition cards. Because, yeah, the monsters are um, no less complicated to learn than the rest of the... Uh, I'm curious about trying maybe the first edition, but with some of the expansion monsters, just to throw in a little bit of monsters in there. Yeah, because the monsters are cool, and you can supplant them with the ones that are already in your deck. Like the tarantula, uh, when its ability activates, place a venom token on the mortal of your choice in play. When you capture a player, uh, when a player captures a mortal with any number of venom tokens on it, that mortal is in venom, so the player immediately moves their score tracker back a total of minus three points and returns the venom token to the supply. If the mortal with uh, venom is given to another player, then the tokens travel with it, affecting that player. Tarantulas are immune to all venom, so unless your ability is cancelled, you are not affected by venom for the remainder of that turn. If the mortal with venom is discarded, then the venom is also discarded. Alright, so let's play the new creatures. The new monsters. Alright. Uh, then there's the man-eating plant. When its ability activates, entangle a mortal by placing the man-eating plant next to that uh, next to the mortal new for This mortal is now entangled, meaning it can only be affected or captured by a 7 plus creature or a man eating plant, yours or another player's. So, without a strength uh, buff, the 3 tarantula and the 5 rogue robot cannot affect an entangled uh, mortal. When it's your turn to capture your uh, man eating plant, may capture your entangled mortal, if it's still there, or another mortal. You know what these mean, these little dots? Uh. Because these two have one and those two have two. And it's two ability when it's one ability. Uh, quick start my ass. <laughs> really start with four cards? But, uh, okay. Those are your four new new monsters. I'm, I'm do I get my dot dot ability if I do not capture a mortal? No, creature abilities with dot dot only activate when they capture a mortal. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go on the assumption that one red dot is instant and two is delayed. Okay, here we go. Reveal then activate dot creatures. Once everyone has chosen, revealed all cards at once, creatures with dot in the bottom left instantly activate their ability from highest to lowest string. In this situation, the vampire's ability would activate first, which cancels the blob ability. Oh wait, yeah, the other creatures have it too. Oh! Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that, okay. This is a mechanic that we're just learning. Uh, so... So the, the higher dots, or the, the two dots trump one dot. Uh, hold on. Uh, and this vampire's ability would activate first, which gives us blob abilities. The blob ability would now activate, but it was just drained off of it by that sly vampire. Capture mortals and activate dot dot creatures. Now the, they really need a better name for this. Uh, now the player dot, with, dot. Doot, doot. yeah, now the player <laughs> with the highest strength creature chooses a mortal first. Player with the second highest chooses the next and so forth. Creature abilities with dot dot activate when they capture a mortal. In this example, the vampire has six captures first and takes the two teenagers with the location icon from above. Next, the werewolf at five captures the cosmonaut, and since it has dot dot, the ability activates, forcing the player to the right to discard a creature from their hand. Oh, I think we've already been playing that way, we just didn't realize it had that, that lingo. Yeah. Okay, so that so that, that hasn't changed how we play. Okay. 
Okay, or, that makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, let's 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 do this. I'm excited. So, Zach, this is first edition. This is that. This is the basic game, except we have to run some new monsters. So this this will give you a better example. And, it was so, and with this, it's so easy to figure out what goes in there. Oh, did you, you remove sure? everything that says four plus, and remove everything that says five plus, because this is for four or more players, five or more players. Oh. Oh, did you make sure to uh, substitute your monsters? Oh no. We can't just have them all. Nope. Oh man. These are substitutions that you can take in and out, so uh, you can mix and match the new monsters. Yeah, but I think it'd be fun to have all of them to work. <laughs> but okay. They did the match. They did the monster match. Okay, well this is mostly the, the first edition, we're just playing. Now I don't get the Entangle a mortal, only 7 plus, or a plant untangles it. Yes. So, again, the frustration with this new edition is... <sighs> Alright, so... Ability activates. Entangle a mortal by placing the man-eating plant, uh, plant card next to the mortal of your choice in play. This mortal is now entangled, meaning it cannot be affected or uh, captured by a 7 plus creature, uh, or can only be affected or captured by okay. a 7 plus or a man eating plant, yours or another player. Um, when it's your turn to capture, your man eating plant may capture your entangled mortal if it's still there, or another mortal. If okay. So it's basically calling dibs. Okay, no, I like it. Okay, cool. I got an idea. I, I, I get how it works. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's get them. Okay, so for the mortals, we got two teenagers, the cosmonaut and the engineer. Engineers are interesting. Zach, if you end up getting an odd amount, they each count as negative two points for you. You get even amount, they count as three points apiece. Yeah, it's crazy. It goes from negative two points to six points to negative six to nine points. Or, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I believe there are three in the deck. So well, someone which means you want to get all three or one. No, you no, don't. We want to get two. Yeah, you want two nine. and don't want that third one. Feed me, Seymour. I wonder if the uh, plant was actually designed after Audrey or not. Audrey. Yeah, you never watched the Little Shop of Horrors. No. What you call me? <laughs> it's a uh, old musical. Had a uh, plant that looked exactly like that. That. Uh, Eight people because it was from outer space. Actually, it's a pretty. It's kind of like Rocky Horror Picture Show, where it's one of those like really unique musicals. Uh, this is tough, actually. Oh yeah. Um. All right, you guys ready? Let's just see what happens. Okay. Um, well, I, I, I was supposed to be at the top. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm not trying to... <laughs> and then you were... Okay, so now we're back in order. Uh, that didn't mess... That didn't, like... Okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, so... Yeah, that didn't even affect the round. Okay, cool. So my man-eating plant will... You'll basically call dibs on the yeah, one that you want to pick. Yeah, but if I choose, like, this one... Neither. If he wanted to, he could he could break because it says entangle mortal, but seven plus can untangle it, so he can take it anyway. Yes. Okay. But you wouldn't be able to take it. Right. Would be the thing. Okay. However, I would be able to envenom one of the cards, so if it was taken by somebody else, yeah. you would get uh, minus points for. I don't even know which one you get. I kind of feel like you go for engineer just because of who you are. Um. I'll just, uh, I'll go ahead and entangle the Cosmonaut, I guess. So which one do you want, that? Oh, no, he gets put, sorry, he gets put a Venom counter or something. I'm putting it on the teenager. Yeah. Okay, now what, now he's putting Venom on this. That might affect what you do. What is if you if you acquire the teenagers, then you get minus three points automatically. When you pick them up. So basically, it would be four no matter what. Uh, no, four it's, or one. It's just you would be at negative three score when you pick them up. Let me try some. Okay, then I will get this, and I'll take this because spiders aren't affected by their own venom. 
Which is a good, that's a good rule to have in the game. <laughs> and we can just get rid of this, right? Uh, yeah, because yeah. the Venom essentially cancels itself out. But if you've taken it without the Tarantula, then you would lose yeah. the points, if I'm reading that correctly. And it might not be, because, God forbid, this game actually makes any sense on the second edition. I am so sorry I'm taking a dump on your game. You should not have made it this complicated. <laughs> Alright, the damsel, one teenager... But, in fairness, we probably played this game on our stream more than anyone else. Yes. Like, I mean, like I, we I still love the game. It's just it has a lot of very intricate rules for the second edition. Okay. So, this is a pretty solid lineup. We have three teenagers, one teenager, and a damsel. So, three is bigger than two. Yes. Okay. What you got, Corey? What you got, gay? What you got, man? I wanna see what you got. Come on, dude. I'm reporting you to HR. You wanna see what HR. you got, man? Okay, uh... Yeah, I'll do... Yeah. Alright, ready, guys? Yep. Got you! <laughs> Fuck, boy. Alright, so uh, this got moved down, so um, you and Tangle first. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah, you're going to. Okay, <laughs> you and Tangle next. Tweet. You can enjoy your second place. That is an interesting strategy. Is it for me or him? Uh, for him. Okay, that's Since that. I take initiative, and you can capture the one. See, I was thinking about playing the kaiju. I, I should have, because I had the top of the initiative order. It's hard to say. Um, also, welcome 10 viewers. Thank you for watching. Holy oh, crap, we, have, we do have 10. All <laughs> we right. had 12 at one point. Okay, so we're playing Camp Creatures of Vienna. now. The Cosmonaut, the Hunter, and the Hunter. Ooh. So Zach gets to see some negatives this time around. All right, let's see. I... This is a very tricky game. There's a lot of like bluffing that goes on, and we don't want the hunters because they give us negative points. I got Canada. That's that's the wrong game. <laughs> uh, what about Florida? Can I have Florida? I mean, you're welcome to it. I'm sure most of Florida will give it to you for free. Here, take it. <laughs> There's that Florida man. Oh man, this is tough. Okay, hold on. Is this the right? I think this is supposed to be moved down now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm first. Okay. Page. Rogue robot, rogue robot, and the monster. Oh, this is going to be bad. Not necessarily. No, not really. Um, because you go first. Fair enough. And then I can discard a mortal and play. And I discard one too. Yeah. So and we'll, you no. get, we'll say that's the token because I don't know what the actual power. Of token so we can add it's it. in here. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's on the flip side. Literally. Catch you on the flip side. Alright, so the next creature you play has a plus two to his power. <coughs> okay, now we go for the deep sea diver, the engineer, and the archaeologist. thinking now, with the last game, the, I'm pretty sure you didn't say this, but we should have played only one of the, um, what were the jackasses called? The, the engineers? Yes. We should have only played one at a time instead of two. Assistants. Yes. Yeah. All right. Boom. And. Okay. So you get to put Venom on something. Okay. That is a choice. <laughs> I would have actually probably put it on the archaeologist there. Why? Considering that no one, neither, neither me or him, has any benefit from capturing the engineer. Right. No, it's, it makes it so he is guaranteed to get it, and he gets six points. Only three points. He gets three for each. Or he gets minus two for each, if it's odd. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, wow, okay. I yeah, thought... and he will, he'll get six points and ignore the Venom. Right, because it doesn't work the same as teenagers. Yeah. 
Yeah, because the teenager says whoever has the most gets 70 points, whoever has the second most gets... I'm, oh. I'm actually going to go for the... Uh, I'm actually going to take the negative so Zach doesn't get that. And I'll, I'll try to get the engineer next. But you were smart with that. I think that's a very smart play, but I think it's also smart for me to take that. Uh, you <laughs> might, you might need the plus two token, too. Yeah, I do. Wait, oh yeah, because you still won because it would only be a five. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, at least you get to choose the next one. And this one, the top card I don't think you look at. Nope, I just uh, pull it blind and I can choose to reveal it or not. Okay. <laughs> I do not need any more teenagers. I hey, really the, don't. There's the, no benefit past getting first place. <laughs> this is literally just puts me at a nut right. seven. The archaeologist, the deep sea diver, and the archaeologist. Yeah, I get plus two this round. Even though this round's not that good for me. Um, not gonna play that. Alright, you guys ready? And then I'm up top. Yep. Okay, I get plus two power on this, but I don't think that matters. I get to go ahead and put Venom on something. Okay, I'm just gonna take Wait. the one you don't. <laughs> <laughs> or I could just be mean, put it on this. Oh, <laughs> I mean that? Yeah, you could, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. I, I am very interested by that choice again, but yeah, because I'm going next. <laughs> and then Zach. Oh, I got this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. But, it. I mean... It, it's just a net. Yeah. So, yeah, you pull the top, and you can either reveal it or just keep it to yourself. The risk you took was calculated. Was it worth it? We'll find out. It's a damsel. All right. That's Boom. A, it's an engineer. Oh! It's not an engineer. There's three in the deck. That's the third one. All right, all right, boys and girls, let's get serious. We should make sure that Zach doesn't get this. So, do you want to play the um, boy? Fuck you. The mummy, and I'll play the beast, and then and no matter I what, he does. The mummy. Oh, you don't? Oh yeah, none of us have the mummy. <laughs> uh. There's not a way to get around. If he plays the the kaiju, there's probably not a way to get around. I don't think yeah. he's played the kaiju either. Yeah, so he can guarantee to get that probably. Let's see how many cards? There's only one card left. This is the final round. I just yeah. realized. Okay. Huh. Okay, I got mine. Ready? I got the Invisible Man, the kaiju. I guarantee it's the kaiju. Interesting. Uh, okay. Didn't you have the kaiju? You have played the kaiju, haven't you? No? Yeah? Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. Well, I will take the hinge it. No, I'll take that. <laughs> I have no reason for it. And with the Invisible Man, he says I can get rid of someone. I'll get rid of my Venomized Engineer, so I don't have to deal with that. The negative five points. Yeah. Though I will say the points probably count automatically when I took them, right? Uh, if or, you or just or just if I if I get rid of them, I'll get rid of them. If you captured him with the tarantula, I think it's you're technically immune. But if you capture him without the tarantula, then it sticks on it until you get rid of him. Okay, so so then I don't get the so right. so okay cool. All right, so for me, um, I have the beast in my hand. Three. This brings me down by one. So two, four. 10, 14 points. That seems very, very low. But, you know, I'll take it. Uh, I'm actually tied with you. Okay. Zach might have won this one. So we got two, got four. How many teenagers you got? None. So we got six, I got 10, 16, 13. Did you count, um, did you count his teenagers? Like, did you count? He had... Yeah, he did four. <laughs> okay, so you oh, have 13? No, I only got one, yeah, I only got one teenager. Okay, so we tied. 
and then you were just one point behind us. So that's pretty pretty good game. What do you think about the relatively first edition? I mean, the the monsters are kind of switched up a little bit, but it was interesting. Yeah, see, I like Fuck the, the I like the new <laughs> monsters, even though it requires like reading two pages to learn them. It's just the new convoluted locations and uh, creatures are a bit too much trying to like suss through. At least at the moment. It, yeah. It feels like a lot. <laughs> Alright, well we can always jump into another game. Thank you. We can let maybe the chat decide. If anyone wants to say anything. <laughs> Guys? Maybe, maybe, well maybe they will if, Mom? We, if we present some options for yeah. play. Abby! Sorry for the table shaking. Earthquake! So, we have a game that we've never played. Uh, it hasn't even been opened yet. Uh, you can put this in front of the camera so they can see it. It's called Cryptophobia. We also have uh, we have uh, the Blood Warden card game, which is cool. always phenomenally fun. And Zach has not played any of these. I personally, Shocker. I personally enjoyed the Blood Warden game. Is any game that gives you the option of basically like being like yeet out of a uh, boss fight and leave your friends to die and then you come back and collect the loot is a wonderful game. Or we can always play three player Keyforge because I'm always down for Keyforge and I haven't played that forever. Alright, here Okay, so expanded Bloodborne, games. Keyforge, or or whatever the other game's called. Uh, cryptophobia. Alright, in the meantime, we'll pack up this game. You should probably type it in, too. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to do this. Do you need me to spell cryptophobia for you? Hey, it's on the street. It's on the street. I don't even know if it says cryptophobia. It's n nightophobia. Do you not know how to read? <laughs> well, see, I'm thinking of Cryptozoic, which is the uh, company that we played the, uh, what was the game that we just uh, play tested? I don't think we can say what it is. No, 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 it wasn't that one. It was, uh, I don't know, it was one of the other games that we played. Which is right here for this? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it was, uh... It was the one we did the review for, just not. Oh, college election. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Uh, electoral college combat. Yeah, I think I think Cryptozoic might have done something like that, or it might have been the uh, other one we played after we were done doing the uh, review. Yeah, that's that's what it was. It was um, it was the. Oh. Death Monster uh, Battle Mage. Oh, okay. Is that even English? <laughs> <laughs> Ep Epic Spell Wars. Yes. That's <laughs> it. I was so confused for some reason. I know, I'm trying to like, it's like, oh my god, it's bothering the crap out of me too, because I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't remember quite where it was from. Like, have you played uh, Keyforge? I know we've had it in here. I know you've played, but I don't think I've played it. Okay. It's been a while since Corey and I played it. It's been a while! Really? Yeah. Don't like it? I'll be right back. No! no. What? It's <laughs> kinda creepy. That was, I was trying to say it for you, you're like, what? Get you don't out like of it? me! That was even creepier. Uh, yeah, a little bit. More uncomfortable now. Come here, daddy. Make him talk. Daddy, did you know? I'm gonna take a nap when I get home for the work. Cause fuck this. Yeah, you've been up for a while. Yeah, I didn't even work today. But no, I just don't like stained. Same reason I don't like. Oh, I thought I was going over this weekend. Yeah, no, stay, same reason I don't like Creed. Well, one of the reasons besides Scott Stapp is a massive douche, but. But why? Like, create the band? Alright. Scott Staff, the singer? Dick. 
And then, of course, his voice is just so generic and easy to do. Like, seriously, it requires no talent to be Scott Stapp. Great. Like, here, let me let me sing you one of Creed's greatest hits. Wrong one. With the arms wide open. With the arms wide open. Like, when you, when you sound like a guy that's choking to death on fast food and you make your career off of it, and then you're just like... Yeah, I bet I can make, I bet I can cash in on those church people through by our sugar. What the hell's the water hole for? No, sir. Where the hell's the water hole for? And then Stain's pretty much the same reason. Is it's just the voice. It's just, there's no talent. We're spreading water hole. Water hole! Water hole! I mean, they getting grunge, like literally half of grunge. Is or that too. alternatively, if uh, there's not a particular thing people want to watch, we could do a um, quote unquote podcast kind of setup. We just sit around and talk about things. Fuck yeah, let's do that instead. And then, and then we haven't done that in a while. Okay, cool. And I'll cut the stream and then put it up on our podcast. Okay, so just ditch these and. Yeah. I mean, we could have something going on during the podcast maybe, but that's up to you. I'm going to kill the little fly. There we go. I, I, I still kind of like it. Alright, cool. <laughs> it, had, it had some atmosphere. Yeah, as long as we don't get copper strike. I mean, I don't think we would. Ow, fuck my leg. <laughs> but then, then again, it's so hard to My tell. leg! Like, YouTube's turned into something where it uh, used to be... Don't talk about the podcast yet. we got to wait till we get everything ready. I All get right. I get copyright strike for things that people have given me permission for, and people copyright striking me aren't even the people that are... That, that like own the actual rights. Came by Catherine. Like I literally had a guy make a make a song for me to use, and some random company copyright striked striked it. It's ridiculous, I tell you. See, this is actually sounds very interesting too. Like I really like the idea of this. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna play it sometime. So, Nyctophobia the Hunted is a cooperative game of survival where a video four, podcast. Uh, where up to four players must work together to escape a maniacal predator. So we just use the audio, though. Yeah, I know, but when people are watching, they, they might. Or it's like, well, what are, you know, <laughs> we're gonna cut the, uh, you know, the visual or something. But no, we're doing a video podcast. Be a, a late night edition 